Holy, holy, holy. I love this word. Hi, my name is Amelda, and today we will be talking about the role of H in English. It's pronounced as H and not H. Well, some countries do pronounce it as H, but a recommended pronunciation would be H, which is H. H is whenever it pairs up with a vowel, you know what vowels are, which are A, E, I, O, U. It has a very particular sound as in ha or ha ha. Ha, he, he, ho, hu or ha. So H, you have to bring a lot of air, ha. However, some Europeans and somewhere in Southern America, they do not really pronounce the H letter. For example, in Spanish, there's a word called hermana. Hermana means sisters, sister in Spanish, but they just remove the H and they say hermana. However, in English, we are very vocal about the letter H in English. So let's see how H, when paired up with vowel, produces different sounds. So let's see how H, when paired up with vowel, produces different sounds. H plus A, hair, hang, hammer, hair, feel the gush of air, hair, hang, hammer. If you, are, if you are a citizen of one of those European countries or those countries which do not pronounce H, you can change the meaning of the word if you are saying something. For example, I could feel your hair. This means hair. But if you don't pronounce H, I could feel your air. Probably you are talking about your breath. So please be very cautious. Take that little extra effort to whenever you are pronouncing the alphabet hair or the alphabet H. So it's hair, hang, hammer. The next is H plus E, heart. This is pronounced as heart, heart. Henry, usually H plus E will be as the H sound, for example, hen or hell. So it is Henry, hell, Heart. If you don't pronounce the A, you will say art. Art means like an artwork, a drawing or a picture. The next would be I, H plus I, hill, hill, hill. If you drop the sound, you say ill, as in you're not feeling well. So it is hill, the mountain or shorter form of the mountain. It's not ill as in ill well or ill weather. Then let's see. And now you see if H comes in between the words. It's behind. You still feel that air. You don't say behind. You say behind. Behind. Hive. The next word be H plus O. Holiday. Holiday. Ohio. 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 And the most confusing word in English would be honest. Well, this is the few words, this is one of the very few words where H is silent and you straight away go to the honest sign, honest word. So you don't say honest, I am an honest man. You say I am an honest man. Honest, but not honest. One more thing you want to note is, anytime you talk about A, you want to put article as, let's say, a hammer. A hammer. You do not put the article an. However, if you are using this word, then you put the article an. I am an honest woman or I am an honest man. Otherwise, A is always preceded by the article, sorry, H is always preceded by the article A. 
the last vowel that we have is H plus U. Hunt, hungry, hustle. Very simple, hunt, hungry, hustle. So that's how A, when paired up with an, uh, vowels, it brings different sound. Dropping the eighth sound could actually mean something else. For example, hair, you drop the eighth sound, you say air, as in air, okay? Now let's see how if H combined with other consonants changes the sound of those consonants. So now let's see how H is H changes the consonant sound if it's paired with a consonant. More often than not, H comes or is paired with six consonants. C, G, P, T, S, and W. Now let's see how H changes them. C plus H, the examples we have is character. Here, the sound is K character character church now the sound comes back to the original or the intended sound which is ch church c h a character c h u r c h church the next one we have is chandelier the sound is of s and h so it is K character ch, church sh, chandelier. So if you pair H with C, there are three different sounds that you may get. You need a lot of practice, especially listening practice, for you to identify when to change the sound. The next we have is the GH. GH again has the three sounds. First is the regular G, which is G. You don't say Ghana, you say Ghana. So it's Ghana or Ghana, Ghana, and then you have no sound where you actually cannot hear the sound and you say way, way. GH says way. So you have the G and the way where there's no sound, and finally you have the F sound. GH sometimes can be pronounced as F. Laugh. You don't say la. No, it's not la or lug. It's laugh. Laugh. Moving on to the next alphabet, PH becomes F. Philip. Philip. You actually would say F. Philip, Phoenix, Phoenix, and finally Philadelphia. Philadelphia is placed in United States of America. So it's Philip, Phoenix, Philadelphia. F Philadelphia. You don't say per. You don't say per. PH does not mean P. PH means F. The next consonant we have is TH. TH again has three different sounds. One is TH. This sound is very tricky, especially if, you if you're learning English and you're at the very starting stage. This is how you're supposed to pronounce. Keep your tongue between your teeth. Don't bite it until you bleed, but just slightly. Now pronounce the th sound. Blow the air out. Th, th, think. Th, think. It's the same when you say the. However, the is more voice. You could feel the vibration. Think. You don't feel the vibration here. Think. So try to bring out that tongue. Think. The. The. Here it's more voiced and you would feel the vibration. So the trick for TH is bring your tongue in between your teeth. Think, think, the, that. And finally, strength. So it's TH. One more word we have is Thomas. This is not pronounced as 
thomas where you bring your teeth uh, tongue out but thomas so this noun is pronounced as thomas my name is thomas and not thomas so t again has t with h has three sound th where it is unvoiced the where it is voiced this could be this that uh, this that though thus the and t thomas thomas practically h is silent or you have to aspirate your t a little more thomas finally not finally but second word the next word we have is sh sh is a very simple sound sh sh like sh so you have shake shake usher usher polish polish shake usher polish finally we have wh wh also has two sounds one is i not say v but w w when h is silent in these words when whiskey it's not pisky or whiskey it's whiskey you do not pronounce h here and finally you have one word which is very confusing as whole in this word this is one of the exceptional words where you let go of the w but just say whole this is different from the word whole because this means a whole as a complete thing well this means a whole a hole maybe a hole in a board so now you see how h when combined with different consonant produces different sounds i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i hope i was able to clarify a few doubts about the ch and the sh and wh also the th the th i hope you liked my lesson if so please leave your compliments below i will be coming back with another new lesson until then see you have fun and have Fun learning English. Goodbye.